Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of June 25th. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across me virtually, of course, is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I I feel refreshed because I, I got some sleep. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you got, you, I, uh... You're a sleepy boy? Yeah, I was this morning. I was very. I, I was, but I, I took a nap and mm. I, I feel I feel refreshed. Mm, that's good. Nothing like a good nap. Two hours, two hour nap. Yeah. It's yeah. like supreme. Yeah, like you I, get... I like three, but I, you know I, I don't want to mm. go over three. Three, yeah, three is when you're tempting mistress there, because because mm-hmm. that's getting close to actual just sleep territory. Mm-hmm. And now, Alex, the age old question: What is the difference between a nap and a sleep? Then is that three hours? Like three and a half, you think? I would say four hours of sleep because mm. I've gone four hours and I'm just like, oh, I've gone to sleep and woke up and no, it's not, I mean, and I was, I mean, I've gone to school with four hours of sleep. I've, I've done that too. I've yeah. definitely done only four hours before. Yeah, I, I think I'd call that a sleep as well. Mm-hmm. But Alex, don't worry. We're not a sleeping podcast. No, we're a gaming podcast. And you can check us out every single Friday on the podcast service or YouTube of your choice. If you like our content even more than just the liking, subscribing, the commenting, the sharing, then you can go over to patreon.com slash Give us a buck that gives you an exclusive every single month. That also gives you privilege to talk to us. And yes, I know you might be like, oh my God, only a dollar. I get all of that. Yes, that's true. For only a dollar, you get the privilege to talk to me and Alex. And can you really put a financial amount on that? Yes, yes, you can. It's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to go with the freeway, then, of course, you can go over the Twitter at EVM9000 at Skater for just our general thoughts, ideas. If you like our opinions, if you hate our opinions, you can scream at us on our socials. And then, Alex, mm. we got a good news day today. Yeah. Lots of substantial things. Some things getting closed. Some things getting announced through rumors. But before we get to that, Alex, I have a question. Yes. What have you been playing? And that is a false question, of course, because I know what you've been playing. Oh, you've been sure. playing Last of Us Part Two, And, of course, you can listen to our spoiler cast, which is now live as of reaching your eel holes currently you can go over to youtube.com slash easy achievers not the real you are by the way they don't let us do the url <laughs> url mm-hmm. yet which is super annoying but if you just yeah. search us and youtube and do easy achievers last of us spoiler cast it will come up you can listen to our thoughts spoil with with the anklets off with yes. no spoilers alex spoiler free should people play the game oh for sure yes yes, uh, yes. Well, i mean a fair warning it is it, it is not a happy go cheery game <laughs> but this game is amazing in every in every way yeah it's awesome that's all we'll speak of if you want all of our thoughts you can of course head over to that page alex mm-hmm. we played a little bit of apex but that's about it was there yeah. anything else you wanted to bring up um I no, I mean no? I think I'm just my mind is still so wrapped around Last of Us. Me too. I really just beat. I think I just beat it uh, the day before yesterday, so yeah. my mind is like, Oof. it is hard. Like the game. It is hard to be like, oh yeah, like I played the like it's just it's all my brain has been devoted specifically to Last of Us the last few days. Oh, so sure. it is just that honestly. Um, but not to bore you with details, you can go to another video to get all of our thoughts on the matter. Spoiler free, or uh, sorry, spoiler in that video. Spoiler free here. Let's move on to the biggest news story we got in a while. Microsoft mm-hmm. is shutting down Mixer and moving its partner to Facebook Gaming. This is over on The Verge by Tom Warren. Microsoft is closing its Mixer service on July 22nd and plans to move existing partners over to Facebook Gaming. The surprise announcement means Mixer partners and streamers will be transitioned to Facebook Gaming starting today. And Microsoft will no longer operate Mixer as a service in a month's time. Microsoft has struggled to reach the scale needed for Mixer to compete with Twitch, YouTube, and even Facebook Gaming, which has led to today's decision. Quote, we started pretty far behind. (laughs) In terms of where Mixer's monthly active viewers were compared to some of the big players out there, uh, uh, end quote, says Phil Spencer, Microsoft's head of gaming, in an interview with The Verge. Um, I think the Mixer community is really going to benefit from the broad audience that Facebook 
has through their properties and the ability to reach gamers in a very seamless way through the social platform Facebook has. Microsoft is partnering with Facebook to transition existing Mixer viewers and streamers over to Facebook Gaming in the coming weeks. On July 22nd, all Mixer sites and apps will automatically redirect to Facebook Gaming. Existing Mixer partners will be granted partner status with Facebook Gaming, and any streamers using the Mixer monetization program will be granted eligibility for Facebook's Level Up program. Mixer viewers with outstanding Ember balances, channel subscriptions, or Mixer Pro subscriptions will receive Xbox gift card credits. People, uh, major streamers that have signed on to this, including Ninja Shroud and uh, Goliathan, are now free to return to Twitch again or, or any other subscription service they deem satisfactory. Alex, a hmm. lot there. Off the cuff, what do you think? Um, it's, it's, I want. It's crazy because I mean I was I was just getting into Mixer. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's already it's already going away. It's so probably just, good I, then, right? They do uh, yeah. they, they do it now before you get into it. Yeah, right. But um, I've never tried the Facebook game, so I'm actually interested to see how good it is, and and um, hopefully you know they can they, they can stay and be uh, like, oh, what's the name? Uh, not, I'm not trying to say profitable, but you know they can stay, they can be become they can as exist. as Twitch. Yeah, because everybody knows Twitch. Yeah, everyone on Twitch. I, I, you know, me and Alex are very into Xbox. I never even really used the Mixer. I used it in a blue moon every few times. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I didn't prefer or like not like it. It's just Twitch was where everyone was. So that, so mm-hmm. I was always on Twitch. Um, yeah. I never preferred one service over, over the other, but I did know that they were never anywhere close to viewership than Twitch was. So I mm-hmm. guess this isn't surprising, but it is disappointing because we are losing a competitor in the mm-hmm. gaming service as a, I guess you would say streaming service. Uh, yeah. so that is sad, but that's a uh, capitalism at its finest, I guess. Mm-hmm. It is cool that they have some sort of rectification if you are with them. You can go to Facebook Gaming if you really like to. I, I'll be honest. I have literally never clicked on any Facebook Gaming anything ever. So I have oh, no yeah. idea what that even looks like. So exactly. So I guess yeah, enjoy that. I don't know. I, is Have you tried Facebook Gaming? I, I've never I've even... I've never... The last time I played anything Facebook related was Farmville years ago. Oh yeah, Farmville game of the year and whatever hell year I played that. <laughs> I played Farmville so much. That and um, what was it called? Mafia City or something like that. Did you play that, Alex? The Mafia. No, There's like some Mafia game I could play, and it was it was almost like a text adventure, I think. And you like played as like a little Mafia guy. And you could play mm-hmm. like every. It was like Farmville, you know. You get on, you play for like the day, and then you like get get on the next day. But that mm-hmm. was fun. I liked that too. But Farmville, I mean, OG, right? Oh, for sure. Wheat. I think I remember wheat being a thing. Oh yeah. yeah. I liked you my gotta, wheat. You gotta go into the daily man. You gotta get them wheat. You gotta get the wheats. Gotta wait another day. Come back for more wheats. It's like it's like Stardew Valley, but in like mm-hmm. gross monetization form. Yeah, for sure. But that's about that's really about it from that story. Uh, our hearts, of course, go out to everyone smaller that is involved in this. Of course, this is mm-hmm. traumatizing for all the smaller people. The big guys, uh, Ninja Shroud, Goliath, and uh, they've gone out very nice with this. They basically got free money to to go to Mixer for like a year. So mm-hmm. so that we, you know, hopefully everyone lands on their feet and they find their yeah, own sure. subscription services that they enjoy. Moving on to the big gaming news specifically a video game news um this is a report by forbes by T- paul tassie arkham's rocksteady is making a suicide squad game well everyone has been wondering what rocksteady's next project would be five years after arkham knight wrapped up that trilogy turns out it's not what you might think internet sleuth spotted a registered domain name from a wb adjacent company called quote suicide squad kill the justice league.com end quote in addition suicide squad game.com and gotham knights game.com 
Here's what's going on. According to Tom Phillips at Eurogamer, who corroborates this, there are two different DC games coming. The first is Gotham Knight, which we may see, have seen already in, quote, the Court of Owls teaser that went online a while ago. And that's an understatement. A while ago was like, I think it was last year almost, or January, yeah. something like that. And we just never saw anything ever again. Yeah. Uh uh, which is being made at Warner Brothers Montreal. We all know this. We've been waiting for this for a while, and we're just waiting for them to announce it at this point. The second is Rocksteady's Suicide Squad game, which may quite literally be called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. No details are given about it. But this could be some sort of alt-universe DC thing where the Suicide Squad actually goes around murdering the biggest members of the Justice League, and you have in-game bosses like Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and several years of collection of Joker, Riddler, etc. Alex. Mm. This seems pretty true, and if not, it's pretty close to the mark. Um, mm-hmm. I remember Suicide Squad being a rumor that was canceled. I remember this being a game that was can- a canceled Suicide Squad game. That's what took them so long because they had to restart mm-hmm. on a different production. But it appears that that at least was not fully true um, yeah. because they, they, they wouldn't have registered the domain name for no reason. And Gotham Knight seems to be a pretty head-on for what we're getting in that. And Gotham Knight is very exciting specifically because that's that doesn't necessarily exclusively mean batman we might be able to play as the bat family you know of course robin nightwing red hood these other people so hopefully we get more of a diverse gotham knight rather than anything Mm -hmm. what do you think of these news um i'm definitely excited just because i mean i like um to be part of that world again and yes. just want to see where they're going to take uh what what they're going to do because just like just with that title like or oh, it's like kill the justice league i'm like whoa that so cool. meaning we're not you know we're not going to be the superheroes mm-hmm. i mean we're going to be in a different perspective mm-hmm. so it's interesting how that's going to uh, see how that's going to turn yeah i'll be curious if they stick to like a modern what you think of suicide squad or if this is going to be an else world suicide squad where mm-hmm. we're gonna like quote unquote be like good guys and we're fighting the justice league yeah. um and we're fighting like the uh what what is it the, i forget the name the the evil version of justice league alex ultra society right isn't that what it's called uh yeah oh something like that it, it, but it's with Ultraman and owl yeah, man yeah, yeah. and all that thing so ho- i wonder if it'll be something like that that would be cool but uh I hope we're getting a standard, like, I'm Harley Quinn or I'm Deadshot and I'm fighting, like, Superman or Batman. That'd be cool. Oh, for sure. That'd be cool. That's very exciting. Hopefully, we get these announcements soon because, again, it's we are June 25th and uh, E3 would have already happened and we did get rumors um, basically told us that they were going to announce these two games at a WB Montreal event during e3 mm-hmm. so that was of course canceled so i'm assuming they have partnered with someone yeah. to do something hopefully that's soon though moving yeah on. hopefully we will we'll, we'll, we'll see something else about it yep moving on to cyberpunk news today there was a ninth city wire event today um some press were able to actually play the game so you can get uh, some substantial gameplay and actual people who have played the game you can get them all over the place ig and GameSpot. um on YouTubes and all these things. So if you want to see some actual new gameplay, you can look that up. Uh, here's a everything essentially that was announced during this Night City Wire event, okay? So this new thing called Brain Dance was introduced. And what that is is a recording of somebody else's experience, and it lets you live through their manner, memories, very literally, by the way. It's, it's you essentially take, like, a chip of their memory, you insert it into yourself, and then you can manipulate the environment and discover what happened to them. And generally, you can use that to get different items. Uh, there was, I heard there was one preview where uh, you were a call girl, I believe, and you went to this gentleman that, that you wanted to find his item that he hid. Um, so you had to use the environment to find what item he hid. So you had to like move around, check different cameras, and see where he hides something, and then you go into mm-hmm. that that environment and find it yourself. So that seems cool. It, um, I watched the actual Night City, Night City Wire event. The event came to a crawl when they were actually announcing this, though. They were like talking in depth mm-hmm. about this very unnecessarily, that, like as if it was a tutorial we were playing, and that was not fun yeah. so hopefully they they learn from that because they got super boring because they got in depth and just kept talking about this fast forward and rerun feature that i just couldn't give less about 
Then, yeah. uh, as the player, you'll be working with a character named Jackie on a hunt for a legendary chip of quote unquote immortality. Jackie introduces the players to a fixer that will introduce them to new chips and enhancements. I'm assuming this is like the level up system in the game. Uh, the Mox is one of the gangs the player will encounter in Cyberpunk 2077 and craft a unique relationship with them. Outside the city walls is a district called The Badlands. It's an open desert-like space filled with unique encounters called quote-unquote moments. Don't know what that means. The Atom Smasher is a big modified enforcer introduced in the Cyberpunk tabletop RPG and is now in the game. He looks kind of cool. He looks like a... He looks like a, almost like a... What were they called in Bioshock Infinite? Uh, those cyborg men that had hearts, like their hearts were pumping oh, in like the middle of their chest. They that, looked a lot actually, like that, but like modern yeah. day. They, they mm-hmm. looked modern and it was pretty cool. Ripper docs are different backstreet doctors in Night City that will enhance your character with new body mods. CD Projekt Red announced a new cyberpunk anime that's being produced by Studio Trigger for Netflix. So that's very exciting. Uh, yeah. That was like the main center. I was like, oh, that's cool. They... And it's uh, apparently been in development for a while. I think that's incredibly smart. They're already working with a partnership to make something for this, and they li- they were very literal on on what they wanted from this. They wanted a they want a Witcher. <laughs> they want another Witcher. They want oh, people who sure. won't play this game watch this, and then makes them go buy the game. Uh, so oh, yeah. so ho- they're hoping for that. Hopefully, this is good. It looks it, the picture already looks awesome. So I'm down. And then uh, yep. uh, that's about it. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 will be released on November 19th. Don't forget it got delayed for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And an enhanced version will be released later for PS5 and Xbox Series X. I don't really believe that last part enhanced version will be released later. I'm assuming we're getting the, la- the enhanced version when these systems come out. Um, mm-hmm. And by the way, November 9th is when one of the systems will come out, I'm sure. So uh, we'll get it oh, around yeah. there. We'll get it. We'll I probably get a day one on our new systems. Can't wait, man. Yeah, that is very exciting. Alex, hmm. throughout all of that news, anything is specific stand out to you? You did miss the actual event, uh, so you don't. You know, you didn't actually see the stuff. But what did you think from everything I just listed? Oh no, it sounds exciting. I mean, um, I I mix. Don't get me wrong. I am excited for the game, mm-hmm. but like, you hate I it. I do want to play it. <laughs> I know is that it, it doesn't get me like I wasn't I'm not as hyped for it as I was for like Last of Us mm-hmm. or for Assassin's Creed it's mm-hmm. just I guess it's because it's new it's new I'm, yeah it's unproven yeah I'm not yeah I'm not I'm not sure about it yet but it does look like I would have a, a enjoyable time so mm-hmm. I'm just uh, I just I I'm, I think I'm doing what you did with Last of Us I don't want to look at anything I just want it to be like new and fresh when I get into it because if I keep I'm I'm scared that if I'm gonna keep watching gameplay or something for uh-huh. it, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get tired of it. Yeah, I feel that for sure. Um, I kind of understand the feeling of like, I I want to get into this fresh. Now apparently this game is huge, so yeah. we haven't really even seen the game in re- in like comparisons to the actual length of it, which is pretty insane because we've seen a lot of this game. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm very excited to see what turns what actually happens in this game, like. Like what yeah. it? I just I still don't know what the story is. What are we doing? Like yeah, you know we know the player will be working with Jackie on a hunt for the legendary ship of immortality. Like sure, mm-hmm. but like is that like the whole story? There's branching paths because there I we know that there's three different starter locations because you they uh, announced today that you can be the corporate, the street kid, or the nomad as one of your beginning people, similar to Mass Effect where you pick your like okay. history. And yeah. that will start you in different parts, most likely. If you pick them a nomad, you can imagine you're probably in that desert area. Um, mm-hmm. And if you're the corporate, I assume you're working with the corporation to do something uh, as yeah. like your beginning thing. But, but uh, everything like that looks super exciting. Um, okay. Uh, I I love the RPG elements where I can literally like get to the nitty gritty of like what my character has done before. So that's exciting. Um, this will be this will be a very literal role playing game, which is very cool we haven't i haven't exciting yeah i haven't played a game like that since i want to say dragon age inquisition which that was like Mm -hmm. 2014 so i mean i'm hyped yeah yeah it's definitely been a while so i am i am i am excited Mm -hmm. so i want to see what it has to offer Mm -hmm. yeah and there will be uh they did announce there are other night night uh, Night city wire events happening so this will be a like I, i they didn't really say when i guess this will be quasi monthly Okay. Or we will be getting these normally, though. So we'll, yeah. we'll get these uh, whenever they announce them, I guess. 
All right. Moving on. Halo Infinite teaser confirms the bad guys from Halo Wars 2 are back. 343 released a teaser for upcoming Xbox Series X launch title Halo Infinite that confirms the return of a proper villain. The teaser below features a low voice from someone who says, quote, we are the banished, end quote. The Banished are back for Halo Infinite then, but who are they? They're the bad guys from a real-time strategy spin-off Halo Wars 2. And uh, I know you might be asking yourself, well, I didn't play that game. Well, I guess it will be all new to you. And let me explain who that <laughs> is then, uh, because I didn't play it either, and neither did Alex, so I had to look up who these people were. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this is technically spoilers for Halo 2, uh, Halo Wars 2, so... Uh, I guess if you care, don't don't listen. The boss of the Banished is a brute called Atriox, who battles against the UNSC in Halo Wars 2 and ends up unleashing the Flood. But he manages to contain the threat, kill a proto grave mine before Sentinels turn up to uh, turn up to clean up. The video below shows the final cutscene. You can watch the video on any uh, YouTube for you. Uh, so what's the Banished doing in Halo Infinite? And then you can actually, uh, let's do a full transcript from the actual teaser. Uh, and this is the actual teaser and what it says. So, quote, the hour approaches. Forces occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control and humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. No more prophets, no more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will, we are his legacy. We are the banished, end quote. Hmm. Dope, right? Yeah. That's pretty dope. That gets you kind of hyped for this game. I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. That was yeah. pretty cool. I like that they like have forsaken the prophets, those weird worm guys. So mm-hmm. now it's just those guys and wanting to murder people. Uh, from this, we know the Banish occupy a Halo ring or will do soon. Is it a Atreyarch speaking the video? The we are his will, we are his legacy line could suggest Atre- Atreyarch is dead and someone else is in charge. Either way, the tease is setting up the Banish as one of Halo Infinite's antagonists. So expect to fight them a bunch in the game. As a reminder, here's the Halo Infinite cutscene released at the E3 2019. Of course, you can also look that up wherever you'd like on YouTube. But that was awesome. Mm-hmm. That I'm very excited for this. Um, I want. I want this to be so good. You know what I mean, Alex? No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like this right? is yeah, this see, this very much seems like the last hurrah, and I'm and it makes me sad. Yeah. You know? Do you know what I mean by that? Uh, go into detail for people who don't uh, so for halo halo 4 right was okay. was okay right i i liked halo 4 apparently not a lot of people like halo 4 i liked it fine yeah yeah but halo 5 was when i was like really like okay no yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I was like i don't like this at all so i stopped playing halo i didn't stop playing halo i guess but i you i the story and that was it yeah i played the story i played maybe i mean what maybe five matches online and then i just went no Mm -hmm. this ain't it this ain't it chief and then i just signed off so hopefully halo infinite turns out to be good because this game comes out whenever the systems come out we haven't seen anything um so and, and of course we'll probably get a full breakdown in this new event coming whenever in july so yeah uh and aaron greenberg on his twitter announced that they had a good video review so all seems well with the conference, and let's hope the game turns out to be good. It looks cool. I mean that. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm excited for it. I can't. I I don't always. I hope, I've always loved Halo, so I just I, I can't wait. I can't wait either. Um, and it's cool that it's gonna be a launch title, and mm-hmm. I feel like people forget we don't pay for Halo. We're nope. getting Halo. We have Game Pass, Game Pass, so that means we just get Halo, which is which is nuts. awesome, awesome day one game for no additional cost yep. uh, uh you know of course outside of your pre-existing cost of the membership like this is a one and i'm oh, so sure, excited dude. i am so excited alex if you could have one feature come back for halo infinite what would that be could be a weapon mm. could be an ability could be a character what, what is one thing you're like ah, i wish we got this back interesting 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 um gosh Ooh, Ooh, um, drawing a blank. I like when I make you draw a blank. After, after, after. Now you said one is you said ability weapon could be anything else? character. Anything. Like, like, I, well, I, I suit want, of armor. Like, I, well, I definitely want the flood back. Mm, 
That would have been my answer as well. Yeah, the I definitely flood. want the flood. I would like the flood too. They're not game changers, of course. Like I, I won't hate the game if the flood isn't there, no, but, but I do I mean, miss the flood. With. I do miss the flood. And I know in Halo Three it was like a big thing that we ended the flood. So like yeah. I, I get that they don't want to do that, but they're just such a cool thing. Like this weird parasite that like no yeah for sure makes dead people come back to life. It's and it's so unsettling when you see them go inside the body. Oh god, oh, yeah. I was so grossed oh, yeah. out as a kid. I remember seeing that and be like, Jesus Christ, this game. <laughs> You'd see yeah. them writhing around and getting up and going to fight you. Yeah, no, it it was I definitely liked it because it had like a kind of like a horror feel aspect to it. Right. So it just it, it just to me it just made it uh, like more fun. Like with the new characters, I'm like I'm not I'm not dogging on it like it's not Uh-oh. i'm not saying it's bad but Uh-oh. like I, I prefer you don't like spartan lock just say it look he's <laughs> <not the> <laughs> yeah he's definitely not the issue i do hate that they tried to make team red and team blue a thing and it just never happened no yeah that's that sucked pretty, i was pretty, excited yeah. for that and then i'm like i don't i couldn't name you a single character from that group <laughs> like literally a single one yeah Oh, but 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 um, I would have if I didn't know it was already in there. I would have wanted a battle royale in mm-hmm. the Halo game, but we we know it's coming. So, oh for sure, yeah. Moving on, Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time brings the three D mascot back to PS Four and Xbox this year. Oh, this is by Gabe Gerwin at GameSpot. Game uh, Crash Bandicoot has been missing in action for years at this point. With remastered versions of his past adventures and racing spinoff keeping fans occupied, however, his time to wait is almost up. As the famous Mad Cause is back this year with a completely new adventure that Activision has called a true sequel, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is a follow-up to the original PlayStation trilogy and is being designed by a group of longtime fans. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time has a release date of October 2nd, 2020, so that's very soon, and it will release on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch. It's in the works by Toys for Bob... Um, those are the people who also did Spyro Remastered Trilogy, if you didn't know. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 uses the same basic platforming gameplay of the original titles, both with advanced and modern twists such as wall running, grinding rails to make it through tougher areas. And the art style overhauled for the latest systems, you'll be able to play as Neo Cortex alongside Crash and Coco. Nice. And uh, the game is actually set at the very end of Crash Bandicoot 